What's up boys? Today I'm going to check out the Asgard's Fall Origins changes, especially the weapon evolutions and stuff. For my skill tree I've got some a little bit of defense stuff, a decent amount of utility stuff in here, and then pretty much all the elemental stuff is basically empty, and then I have quite a bit of physical, so I'm going to be trying out a full physical build here. Hitting with basic attack reduces a cooldown, falling below 20% health enrages you, Defeating 20 enemies gives you a buff, but you lose that on taking damage. You throw a massive axe, and bleeding enemies explode. So I've got a decent amount of meta progression, so let's ramp this up a bit and see what we can do with the evolutions. There's supposed to be a new enemy or something? So that was probably my massive axe there that just flew in and one-shot them there. So I'm looking for all physical, and I believe the claws are pretty good, but hitting a bunch of random enemies sounds like it could be really good if you evolve that. So let's go with that. In fact, I can probably just stand down here and AFK right now. Interesting. Oh yeah, it's not endless anymore, they have a timer now. Let's see, that is 49. That looks pretty good. Crit and attack speed. Oh, I just hit the wrong button, oops. You're supposed to click on it, oops! I haven't played in a while, sorry. I just like autopiloted to that button for some reason since it was right in the middle. Whoopsie. Oh yeah, you can see how many levels you need until you can evolve them, I suppose. One out of six. So lightning, lightning, cold, or lightning, cold, cold. See what else we got. See what else we got. Physical, that's fine. Minus 10% on the dagger throw should be pretty nice. So attack speed is just like cooldown on this, right? Yeah, there's no separate cooldown stat. It just reduces with that. So could get some early XP. Love me some attack speed. Probably just save a bit more for now. So I can get some big quadra levels later on for the permanent movement speed from the utility tree. So we've got a physical there, sure. I guess I'm going to try and evolve all f all five physical skills so that I can see how they are. But the dagger throw is kind of messing them up considering this is close to max difficulty. They have plus 600% HP. Let's see, crit and attack speed and crit multi are pretty nice. Could toss that in for a bit of movement speed. That's fine. So if I were to go to the absolute max, which is 10 and 1000% HP, I think, they would only have about 50% more HP than they do now but they're just getting one shot. So it seems like the game is a lot easier now. We've got a physical there, physical there, sure. I think I'm going to get XP wherever that's available in order to try and get all the levels there. And I love attack speed. And those are decent, so I may as well go for the movement speed there. I guess collection radius really doesn't help that much in here. Ability spawn one, sure. 
because all of the XP is dropping in a limited area, so you can eventually just grab it easily anyways. Although, if you get enough of it, you can just sit still, I suppose, so that's kind of nice. This seems really easy for being that close to maximum difficulty, though. I guess because I have a ton of skill points now, maybe? And physical does scale the best with those currently. Um, honestly, let's see what else we got with a pre reroll. Tech speed, I guess. I can kind of conserve my blood for now. And I love getting huge attack speed, anyways. Let's see what else we got. A physical here. So because physical is the only tree that seems to be fully implemented currently, it scales by far the best with meta progression right now until they implement all of the trees. Tech speed, that dodge is pretty low, let's just see what else there is. Um, that's alright for all four. Getting a little bit of bleed chance will help me keep that up a bit more consistently for the explosions and stuff. I don't know, the daggers and the claws are kind of just destroying everything. And I guess the bleed explosion as well is probably helping out a bit. No physical there. No physical there. No physical there. This is getting kind of expensive, thank you. These are okay, but not really interesting. Huge crit multi, sure. Grab a little bit of that. I don't think I need movement speed that much anymore. Technically, I can reduce my cooldowns by hitting with my basic attack, but they're dying so fast anyways. See what else? Dagger throw, plus one is pretty good on a three base. Mm, the armor and movement is pretty good. I don't mind that. Collection probably don't care. Oh. Uh, let's see what else we got. Ability spawn or a new ability. Uh, let's pump this stuff for now. The claws do seem pretty good. I can grab the other one later if I still have enough points for it. So one other thing about the physical build is the basic attack in the game also seems to be physical. So it's getting the full bonuses from the physical tree, I think. Could be wrong on that. But that's just what it seemed like to me earlier. Bleed health region, eh. Increased XP, that will help with what I want to do where I want to get a ton of levels, so I guess I'll take that. It'll help me get more weapon evos. Dagger throw, cooldown, sure. Two more and I can see the evolution for that. I don't think I've seen the new enemies yet. Although I don't remember those trails on the ground following you, so maybe that was them and they just died really quickly. Uh, probably don't care about the movement speed there.
Yeah, there was something that was dropping red circles under me as I was moving, and I don't think that was in the game earlier, so maybe... Oh, there we go. That's a regular boar that looks different, I guess. Those are some new looking guys, the little ghost there. Dagger throw, that will put me pretty close to the Evo there. Get some big bleed explosions going on in the packs up there. Probably reroll that. Uh, that's fine. Decent chunk of health will scale with my other defensive stats. Oh yeah, the boss apparently has a new attack on one of his hands now. Some sort of bullet hell based attack it sounded like. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Physical cooldown, sure. That one's pretty close as well, and seems like one of the better skills I have. From my earlier runs, it seemed like it was best to focus on like two, maybe three skills, and just pump like the cooldown and such on them as much as possible. Attack speed and crit multi is quite good, so that's not bad. I feel like the sound is going to give me a headache if I listen to that for a very long time. It's just extremely repetitive and just kind of thumpy. Physical, Hugin and Moonen, it's fine. And now they can have multiples up at the same time. Although attack speed probably plays the biggest part in that. Whoa, okay. Bit laggy there for a second. These are okay. I don't mind going with the attack speed, and then I can do all four for the movement speed bonus from the utility tree. Whirl Slash, I guess I'll grab that. Might re-roll into complete junk and it's at least physical. Actually, there's a auto-targeting setting. I wonder if I can put that on and just almost fully AFK. Probably don't really need to aim my attacks. Physical and XP is okay, but the rolls are pretty low. My base physical is pretty low, isn't it? 37, so that is a decent increase at 7. Sure.
Whirl Slash. That one has some levels already, so let's go there. So I need to see what his new attack looks like before I commit to- Oh, what is going on? I guess I'll dash through that. Not quite bullet hell, that's just like entire screen hell. Try and dash through it, it still damaged me? I don't know. Uh, let's see what else. Nope. Dodge and attack speed and armor is pretty good. I don't mind that. I'm like so trained to not dodge in this game because in the very earliest version of it, dodging was actually super risky because it would like pull enemies along with you and then just damage you at the end of it. So let's grab the dagger throw there and I guess I just have a free evolution for it now. Dagger throw physical. Can I like see anything on that? I guess it must have improved the damage or the cooldown use a bit more information when the evolution comes up, I would think. So I guess you probably have to fight two bosses now for the entire timer. Let's see what else we got. Eh. Eh. XP and crit and armor are all decent. So now I'm looking to get two more levels on the claws and then whatever else I can after that. Huge bleed explosions, kind of laggy with all that going off. Whirl slash or damage on that. I guess I'll see how many I can get game doesn't really seem very hard currently, so may as well. XP... nah, pretty weak overall. Nothing there. Attack speed and crit is not bad. Decent roll on the crit. I, like, I do like getting a pretty insane amount of attack speed. Dagger throw doesn't really help with the Evo, so let's see what else there is. Whirl slash, shattering ground is kind of close. And the run's almost over and I only have one evolution so far. And I was stacking XP at almost every opportunity as well. Health region, crit multi, those are all somewhat useful, so sure. Bit expensive on the blood there, though.
Those are some new models, but they just seem like the boars as well with the charge. Dagger throw, eh. Fenrir's claws, that's pretty close. I can maybe do three evolutions, it looks like, by the very end. Whoa, what is going on there? That was so many daggers all of a sudden. Oh, the yellow dagger evolution must split into the basic daggers at a certain point. And for some reason, they all triggered at the same time there. Attack speed. I could really use some base physical damage in all honesty, but it seems to be extremely rare here. Eh. It's okay, but I probably want to see other stuff. Physical there is quite good. That's like a 33% damage increase on just that one, and I get dual crit on top of it. Dagger throw, nah. Let's see what else we got. Shattering ground, that's one away now, I think. Yeah, after a certain number of enemies hit, the daggers seem to split into the base form, and several of them fly out in different directions, it looks like. But if you don't hit enough enemies with it, it seems like they just fly off into the wall and don't do anything there. At least that's what I can tell while playing and still dodging stuff at the same time. Attack speed, meh. Big crit multi and some fizz, sure. Slash. I don't think I'm getting the evolution there, so I'm just going to re-roll this. Hugin, that's at level 2, so probably just looking for these two, really. That is Shattering Ground and Fenrir's Claws, and we have that. I don't know how many it spawns. That might be pretty good as well. Like, it would be nice if it told me some info about the evolve on this page right here. I just can't tell anything about it. it. Seems like the damaging areas last much longer on it now. Armor's pretty good, and the other stuff is not bad either. Take all of those. I guess XP doesn't really help at three minutes left, but oh well. Can try to look for that last level on the claws. Definite FPS issues when there's a lot of enemies like that at the same time all exploding. Dagger, let's look for the claws. There we go, ability K 
count by one as well. Not bad. And I still have absolutely no idea what it does. It seems to be hitting in a larger area now. With some lightning coming off of it as well. Attack speed's quite good, the other stuff is okay. Probably just take those two. Save the blood for more interesting stuff. Oh yeah, the daggers are causing some issues there too. Whirl Slash, uh, can I hit any of those? Not with two minutes left, so I'm just gonna grab the dagger throw. Pretty nice attack speed. I'm definitely going to take that. Eh, I'm getting close to the end. I may as well just grab everything. Who knows, maybe I'll need insane movement speed for some reason. Dagger throw may as well. Now we get to see if there's a new boss or anything. Probably just the same guy. Armor movement is okay. That's quite good. Physical and dodge and crit multi. 12%, 47% in armor is pretty good. That sounds like a new boss. I probably want to stay at range for a bit to see how he works. Oh, that's how he works, okay. So, Shattering Ground was apparently pretty nuts. Claws as well, considering I got the evolutions for those like five minutes left or later. And I have the dagger throw evolution pretty early on. Only managed to get three, even though I was stacking XP. Another three talent points. So it's not that hard to get close to another one of these. If I really wanted that, I could just grab one point from another tree and go like this and then grab it. And then I'd be even stronger. That sounds kind of useless considering you get 100% crit pretty easily late game. That would help a bit early on, but probably not much later on. That's not bad. But 
I'm at plus 300% and that is a total of 400% HP versus a total of 600% here. So the absolute max difficulty is only 50% more HP than what I had there. So I don't think it would have even really been very difficult there. That was pretty easy. But yeah, it doesn't actually seem like that much has changed. It's a bit easier with the evolutions, but it didn't really seem that much more interesting. But I will say, I do think it's quite good for a free prologue version, so I will keep my eye out for the main game. But I guess that's it for now. If you liked the video, a like or a su subscribe would be greatly appreciated. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.